A significant achievement for Europe was reached when PLD Space, a company based in Spain, launched a privately funded rocket. On Saturday morning, PLD Space, a Spanish company, successfully launched the Miura 1 rocket from a launch site in the southwest of Spain. This small glimmer of hope is Europe's first fully private rocket launch, and it gives encouragement to the region's stagnant space aspirations. The Miura 1 rocket is retrievable after launch. Following two previous unsuccessful attempts, the startup successfully carried out a test launch of the Miura 1 rocket from Huelva during the night. This rocket, named after a breed of fighting bull, stands as tall as a three-story building and has a cargo capacity of 100 kilograms. During the suborbital test flight, the payload that was carried served the purpose of data collection. However, it was not intended to be released. As the rocket ascended into the darkened sky, mission control erupted into a flurry of celebratory cheers and congratulatory exchanges between the engineers. The joyous display was captured on video and broadcasted to the world. After the launch, a victorious Raul Torres, CEO of PLD Space, stated that his voice was hoarse from all the cheering and celebration. According to him, every rocket system operated flawlessly, and he mentioned that the corporation would concentrate on increasing its personnel threefold. This is merely the start, he stated. Spain's current Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez shared on his social media platform that the debut of Miura 1, the initial rocket constructed with completely Spanish technology, was a triumph. This accomplishment marks a significant milestone that propels Spain's research and development to the forefront of space transportation. According to Space.com, the flight endured for a total of 306 seconds. Despite this, its peak elevation of 46 kilometers was only half of the intended altitude that was planned by the mission organizers. As per the statement released by the company, the launcher, which is partly reusable, was successfully landed in the Atlantic Ocean. The retrieval of the launcher was scheduled for later on Saturday. In May of this year, the initial launch of the Miura 1 rocket was called off due to the presence of high-altitude winds. A second attempt was made in June, but it failed as the umbilical cables did not detach simultaneously, causing the rocket to remain grounded while smoke and flames emanated from it. Europe's mission to establish its capacity to launch small satellites into space has been highlighted following the breakdown of a Virgin Orbit rocket launch from Britain in January. The system was designed to discharge the launcher from a modified Boeing 747. The inaugural suborbital voyage of the Miura 1 demonstrator transpired on a Saturday and marked the first of two planned missions. Nonetheless, experts project that the most vital assessment will be the establishment of comprehensive orbital services for the Miura 5, a more sizable spacecraft, the timeline for which is set for 2025. PLD Space is facing competition from various rivals in Germany, France and the UK for orbital flights departing from regions such as Scandinavia and Scotland. The contenders include Rocket Factory Augsburg and ESAR Aerospace. The recent small rocket launch on Saturday occurred amidst disturbances to Europe's primary space launch operations. The European spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana, hosted the final launch of the continent's most significant rocket, the Ariane 5 Space Launcher, in July. Up until recently, Europe has been reliant on the Ariane 5 rocket and its ability to transport over 11 tonnes for its heavier missions. For medium payloads, Europe has been using Russia's Soyuz launcher, and for smaller missions, the Italian Vega rocket, which is also launched from Kourou, has been the preferred choice. Europe's independent access to space has been significantly impacted by the termination of Ariane 5. Until the launch of its successor Ariane 6, the region is left with almost no options for self-sufficient space travel. As a response to Europe's sanctions following the invasion of Ukraine, Russia has suspended access to Soyuz. Additionally, technical setbacks have resulted in the grounding of the upgraded Vega C, while the launch of Ariane 6 has been postponed until the following year. After a failed mission in December of last year, the European Space Agency announced that Vega C will not resume service until the fourth quarter of 2024. According to operators, the launch preceding the final launch of the previous iteration of the Vega rocket was cancelled on Friday and a new launch window has been scheduled for late Saturday. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.